I don't think any role is stronger than another role. Thinking that a role is stronger than another role is just kind of weird. It's just a matter of frustration. Like, I'm queuing mid lane here. I don't think I have a better chance of winning. I even think, like, like I'm better in top lane, right? But I don't. I think the roles have the exact same impact. It's just less frustrating to play mid. Does that make sense? Jungle is the strongest, but I don't think jungle is the strongest though. Like, I, I actually think that, like, the difference maker in each role is so minimal that you can barely notice it. Like, top lane can never be a weak role, because top lane, if you're better than your opponent, you will be 5 levels ahead and just 1v9 the game. Jungle will never be weak, because if you're better than your opponent, you're gonna get more objectives and you're gonna help your laners more, and then your laners are gonna win. Mid lane always have the scaling factor, like, every mid lane always go scaling, so if you're better than your opponent, then you're just gonna outperform them in the teamfight late game, you feel me? Scale versus Zoe should be free win, right? I mean, yeah, I think so. Maybe Zoe kills me once or twice, but yeah, this should just be an easy scaling into a win game. Shouldn't be a problem. But I know one thing, I'm not gonna get frustrated, because I don't have to play versus Warwick or Mordekaiser. I get to play versus a champion that actually throws out skill shots. This is actually skilled. When I 1v1 the Zoe, if I, if I get hit by her stuff, I actually die. And if I dodged it, I actually win. That's why top lane is so frustrating. There's not a single champion in top lane that has skill shots. So if you just lose the matchup, there's nothing you can do to actually win. Ow. Yeah, I wore this yesterday. I don't have flash, so if she does some flash bubble stuff, I am just dead. GG. Not a good start. Can't help for shit, man. Oh, oh my god. I thought this matchup would go a lot differently. Oof, that was close. I wanna get tier 2 boots here. I don't know where she went. Careful team. Yeah, she bought. Outrun by Zoe as Vex, lol. Oh yeah, have you played the Zoe Vex matchup very often, or are you are you familiar with this matchup? Of course, it's supposed to go like bro, bro, like relax. The only way you have played this matchup more than five times is if you're piss low, and if you're in piss low, you like yeah, don't even bother. So we literally haven't been meta once ever since Vex got released. So you can't possibly have known how the matchup is supposed to go. Ah, how did I miss? I'm missing everything. What? I'm being outplayed. Oh, 
I'm dead. Oh. oh. Bro, I swear she has longer range than a normal Zoe. The hack ra range hack. This is not normal. Oh, there we go. I'm fighting back. Ah! Fuck. <laughs> Easy. Let's go, baby. I'm thinking. Um, do I go ball. Like, what happens? What is the mid lane macro here when you take in the towers? Do I still go mid, or I guess I go mid to push out and then I just roam. I don't like roaming, I'm gonna be honest. Never been a big roamer. <laughs> big mistake. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, but not sure if that was the right call. <sighs> Oi, what the fuck? Ow. Jesus. I'm gonna come up to take this. Do I one shot or is it just a nope. It's not a one shot, I don't have the damage. I need an item. Now I will one shot. Those Disney champions are so cringe, Vex included. Disney champions, what do you mean? I'm so silly and Quirky, what are you talking about? I like Vex. Why did I not ult earlier? Boom. Okay. Uh oh. I have no mana. You're performing well this game. Hey, thanks, man. This is going. The hell? Man, why am I fucking it up so badly? We got the Baron, we won the fight. Oh, GG, GG. Isena has 120 stacks, by the way. I just checked. How do you have 120 stacks at 23 minutes? That's a little bit scary. Yes. 
he's having a rough one. Such a dumb edge of night, I can't go on her. Go! Team Gap GG. What would be the build for an Nivea? Bowson build a Nivea? I play a little bit of a Nivea. I just go the normal build. I don't really have a Bowson builder. See, you say team gap, but then I had the most damage, so I don't really understand what you're getting at. I don't really understand what, where you're coming from there. Because I do appear to have the most damage in the team. So how could it possibly be a team gap?